Welcome back to Silent Hill 3. We've explored most of the third floor of the Hilltop Center, most recently a Monica's Dance Studio up here. A couple more things to look at here. There's looks like three doors that I haven't tried in the bottom left, right next to where I am. And then the elevator circled, which makes me think I can do something with it. So let's check those things out. And by the way, just something I've noticed is just how many floors there are. So there's a fourth floor on the right hand side that I obviously haven't been to. And then there's also a fifth and a sixth. What about the lower levels? And a first and a second that I haven't been to either. Yeah, we really are going to be here for a while. There's all these, like... There's all these smaller doors. I mean, I guess they're not really doors, but they look like doors. Like this thing right here on the wall. And like this little panel. There's like a bunch of doors. It's weird. Places don't normally have all this stuff. Oh. Yay, I found the mannequin storeroom. Cardboard boxes filled with arms and legs for mannequins. This is the only mannequin with a head. There's something weird about the headless ones. Like they can still see me or something. Ugh. It's a mannequin body. I know it's not real, but it's still creepy. Controller vibrated, by the way, when that happened. Handgun bullets, shotgun shells. Oh my god. This... this is blood. Okay. Right. Let's check out that elevator. Yeah, so I've already checked it out before. The doors eleva uh, the elevator doors open a little. Space is too narrow to be of any use though. It just opens to the elevator shaft, I think. I don't think the elevator is actually there, it's just the doors that are open. But why is it circled? Like, I can imagine pushing the pipe in there and, like, trying to pry it open. But I can't use weapons in that way. I could try to attack with it. Yeah, that's no surprise. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I just gotta leave it for now. Okay, I found where to go. I think I actually went here... No, I definitely went here a long time ago. I just forgot about it. Um, inside of here. In the top right near Monica's dance studio. There's a stairwell. That helps. It's really odd though that it's not marked on the map. There's no stairs on the map at all. Nothing to indicate you can go up and down here. Hmm. Let's go down. Plenty of stuff behind the stairs, but it's all junk. Let's go up. That's a weird looking four. That's really, really weird. OK, 
guess it's just a strange font choice. They're cleaning goods here. There's not much I can do with them. Blood on the ground? Maybe. Indistinct blood or old dirt stain in the carpet. There's another one. Ooh, what's this? An auto parts store. Store? This would be an odd place for an auto parts store. Uh. Huh. I'll puzzle that one out in a second. Yeah, let's go in. It's locked. So there's a key for it then. Different door to the auto parts store. Okay, there's things in here. What kind of things? Things I can melee? Yeah, okay. Let's take a health drink. Oh God. Oh. Okay. I got real lucky there. I managed to go out right as it was like halfway through its attack animation. I've never been hit by one of those things. I imagine it hurts. Fuck, should I go back in there? There might be something I need. I've never tried to kill one of those things either. Maybe a couple shotgun blasts and they would be down? Yeah. That's a small room to be trapped in with that thing. Fuck. Ah. Uh. God, my curiosity though. Okay. How am I doing on shotgun ammo? Oh, wow. I've got the six loaded plus 30. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if it's worth trying to kill the thing, though. Looks like it'd be damn near indestructible. No, I should try to kill it. Okay, let's do it. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to kill it with a shotgun. 
Oh my god! Oh, that's so disgusting! It deflates! What the fuck? That is the weirdest death animation. Alright. They're not too horrible. It looked like it... Almost like it did an, uh, an attack on me while it was down sort of like got its its midsection sort of up and then kind of flailed around I don't think it actually hit me but it looked like it was trying to means it might be dangerous to kick sometimes but yeah that, that wasn't terrible they're manageable why did it deflate <laughs> There's nothing in here, is there? <laughs> There's absolutely nothing in here. Oh, a bunch of cubicles for the auto parts. Yeah, so like, I don't think they, like, I don't think they have a storefront for auto parts. It's just, maybe this is where they do sales and stuff like that. And it's just like an office. Some papers on these shelves. That's it. Nothing useful. Poster for this company, KMN Auto Parts. Oh, the jack. Oh, I could, I could probably use that on the elevator door to get it open. Oil and foil and stuff like that. Can't use any of it. Foil? Foil? What's foil used for in cars? Bunch of serious looking papers on this desk. Don't need to take any with me. Oh, some tissues. Good. Can use that to wipe off all the blood. Oh. Oh yeah, so this entire wing is KMN Auto Parts. I just unlocked it from the inside. Gotcha. Okay, what's left? Not much. Two doors to try up here on the top right for the Gallery of Fine Arts. Gallery of Fine Arts. Guest registration notebook on the reception desk. I think I can ignore it for now. Presser of Memories. What the hell kind of title is that? I don't get this picture at all. I 
And this is a calm, relaxing picture. Mountain. Nice and simple. There's a price written here. Let's see. 5,000? Man, what a world. Hmm. It's missing. Looks like there was a picture here before, only the caption's still around. <laughs> Flame purifies all. And it's missing. Flame, huh? Well, I don't know what kind of picture used to be here, but I'm not too fond of fire. It's scary somehow. Driver? It's a poster for an upcoming exhibition, not very interesting if you ask me. Katana? Huh. It's a katana, but I don't need another one of those. I think one is plenty. Too much stuff will just slow me down. I mean... Okay, but then why are you carrying five Shakespeare anthologies? I wonder if that katana was sort of a special item, because this shot really seems to want you to go to the office, even though you can't actually go there. This door over here, it's actually kind of hard to see. It's pretty subtle. Let's test that thing out. Let's look at a couple descriptions, too. You use this to raise a car when you need to change a tire or something. This flathead screwdriver was in a corner of the hallway. Totally ordinary. Oops. Short katana, about two feet. About two feet long. Pretty powerful and easy to handle. Pretty powerful and easy to handle. Yeah, so I think this is probably by far the best weapon that I have. So let's test out the attack. It says easy to handle, so what? Does that mean I can attack while moving? Eh, uh, well, no. I can move while I have it out, but I think I can do that with a pipe, too. Strong attack. So similar to the pipe, if I press forwards while doing the strong attack, it's a poke. Versus just a normal strong attack as an overhead. And then fast attacks. Group of three. Yeah, okay. I'll try this out against the enemies next time. I don't know if it I don't know if the reach is as long as the pipe. I think that's it for this floor. Yeah. Alright, let's go back to the stairwell. So I was on my way up, so let's try the next floor up. It probably won't work though, because I think the next thing I need to do is the elevator. Yep. Here we go. Yep. 
Yeah, so what's the plan here, huh? The door downstairs looks open too. No way can I get down there like this. Huh. But I can't get to the third floor, right? The door's locked. Is that a... Oh, I need something to get down to the open door just one floor down. Right? Like, I don't know, lay a... Ideally, like a, a cloth rope or something to, uh, you know, get down to the next floor. I don't have anything though, right? I mean, I got a screwdriver. What's that gonna do? I got a bunch of Shakespeare. So I'm still missing something? I think I found the answer. Not myself, but through a walkthrough. Let me just confirm though. This drawer looks sort of slightly open here. This is at the save point in Monica's dance studio. Doesn't look like there's anything interesting in it. Oh my god. Yep. Oh, that is terrible. Drawer's open just a smidge. It must be rusted or something. Can't pull it out any further. So this is what the screwdriver's for. And now we have a rope. Okay, even knowing that was there, I had to try to use it a couple times till I got the hotspot that's the drawer instead of the desk. I went through here multiple times. I looked at this desk multiple times. I didn't even notice that damn thing was ajar very, very, very slightly. That is terrible. That is so terrible. They should have made it so that if you look at the drawer, like anywhere on the desk, you get a bit of a text that says like, hey, something about the drawer or something, you know, make the interaction spot bigger, uh, signpost it better so that it's more obvious. You can barely see that it's a jar. That's bad. So, so far I've had to use a walkthrough for the first Silent Hill once for that last boss fight that was literally impossible for me to kill with the amount of ammo that I had. And I've had to use it once for this game. I'm keeping track. I'm going to judge each Silent Hill by the number of times I have to use a walkthrough. I'm joking, sort of. It definitely isn't a good thing when I have to use a walkthrough, though, because when I get to the point where I use a walkthrough, I've probably already invested a good half hour in trying to solve it on my own. So that's just a bunch of wasted time. Mm-hmm. Fascinating. I think I have to press the action button. <laughs> I used the rope. <laughs> okay. I mean, I already used the rope. I, I wonder why it wants me to give it input before it actually does the thing. We'll use the rope to get downstairs. Yes. And we're now on the second floor. Green Ridge Mental Health Clinic and Emergency Staircase. Echo Interiors and Floor Fashions. So that's the two places here. All right, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to check out the second floor of the Hilltop Center.